Well, BVRC Live, I'm here with uh, Brooke Horak now, another hero of Centennial's epic five-set victory. 26-24 in the fifth. It was only supposed to be the 15, everybody knows. Uh, what was that like, and have you ever been a part of something like that? No, not at all. That was insane. Like, oh, it was so great to, like, go through and push through that. It was awesome. Uh, when, when Emily's final swing finally went off the block and hit the floor, relief, joy, uh, uh, stress gone. I mean, what are you feeling? A mixture of everything, joy, like, oh, my gosh, like, nerves, like, went through my hands. I was like, whoa. I think you guys had seven set, seven match points there in a row. Uh, you would win the point when it was tied. They would win the point when you were up by one. Uh, what feelings creep in there? I don't know if it's just appreciation for what a great match it was or if you're getting frustrated. Uh, what, what are you thinking during that sequence? Fight. I feel like we need to fight through it. Like, I feel like, I don't know what the word, um, like motivated to like push through it. Determination, right? Yes, I mean, I, yeah, I th think you really... Uh, had, had to get that two-point lead somehow. Yeah. Uh, Independence uh, came out on fire. Brianna Reynolds had 10 kills in that first first set, which is almost unheard of. And then you kind of neutralize her a little bit better after that. What what adjustments did you make? We waited on our block, and Addie did great digging. So did Haley. Awesome digging. And we just had to wait on her. And, yeah. I, I was going to ask you about that, that back row defense because Addie Peters and a couple of other players, a couple of times you have to turn around thinking, oh, Bree got another one, and then the ball's in the air again. Yeah. Addie did a great job doing that. She just makes things look effortless. Yeah. Uh, and uh, a play of one of your own young players, Alexis McLeod, I think she grew up a little bit tonight, and you guys yeah. gained some confidence in her. Talk about her game. Her game, awesome. She uh, can kill it. She can do great. Uh, and, and now a big win over Independence, who you know you won't see again. Bragging rights at stake here a little bit. They're not in the same league, not in the same playoff division. So this was sort of winner take all in some ways. Yeah. Well, they were in our league last year. So we had, like, this fight that we just wanted to beat them. And um, we just wanted to, like, have a long-lasting impression. Yeah, you knew this would be the, the only time you'd see them, right, mm -hmm. Th this season. And uh, now you do start league play in a little less than two weeks. What are your thoughts on, on where Centennial is going into SWL play? Um... I think we got good competition up against us, and we're just going to try our best to do the impossible. The the, uh, the impossible for this team would be to stay number one all year long. Mm -hmm. This is number one Centennial. They proved it tonight in a five-set victory. Brooke Horak, thanks for joining us, and Thank congratulations you. again. Thank you. I'm Zach Ewing. This has been B-Varsity Live, and uh, we appreciate you uh, being with us, and we're going to get out of here. Again, Centennial beating Independence in five sets here on B-Varsity Live. Join us for B-Varsity Game Night football starting at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Clovis at Centennial, our featured game.